Let's now hear from the boss. Here's Ollie with Stuart. Ollie, I can only imagine that you thoroughly enjoyed watching that one tonight. Yeah, of course. We uh, we played some fantastic football at times. It should have been out of sight earlier. That's the one criticism I can can come with that we don't go into half time with a hundred percent feeling that this is this is finished. But of course we played a very good second half as well, controlled it, dominated, you know, when the opponent only have they've got one shot on target the whole game. Uh, you know you've done uh, some uh, other stuff than just playing uh, well. Uh, we've pressed well and we've ran and we worked hard. Um, but we need to score more goals yeah. early on so we can rest. Yeah. <laughs> you, you told us before that you, you wanted Anthony to score more sort of six-yard box goals. Yeah. And his first two were a bit like that. You must very, have been pleased with that. Very pleased with uh, Anthony's uh, development. And he, he knows uh, that we, we want him to do well and we work with him. We work with the forwards all the time on finishing. And today he got the reward for the hard work he's, uh, he's put in. He's all, he's, his pressing goes unnoticed. I think today he was exceptional. I think uh, against Tottenham as well, the pressing uh, he showed from the front was, was really good. So very happy with Anto. And the hat-trick goal, I mean, that was fantastic, wasn't it? The oh, goal excellent. There? That's Man United. And just too bad he can't celebrate it with yeah. live people and live audience and our supporters. It's, um, you miss, you miss that. And uh, that's probably one thing that Anto will always remember from his first hat-trick for the club that he couldn't celebrate with our great fans. That's um, 13 unbeaten and in those 13, only three conceded. Yeah. Some people you might criticise defenders or goalkeepers. You look at that, three conceded in 13 games. Yeah. That tells its own story, doesn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. And that's uh, what we're saying about the pressing. Pressing from the front, the strikers, the whole team is, is dialed in. And we know that we have to work hard to earn that right to win and earn the right to play football. And if you defend well, you get most of the ball anyway. So... Um, very, very pleased with the defensive record. The place looks great, um, yeah, what we've done. That's all you can really do, isn't it? It, it? it looks great, but it was it strange still being here, it's, walking out and there's no noise? It is strange, but it's fantastic what uh, everyone's done. And uh, we, uh, we'll do our best until the fans are uh, back here to, um, to give some entertainment on, uh, on the TV. Thanks a lot. Hello and welcome back to Match Day Review. Let's hear from the man of the moment, Anthony Martial. Anthony, well done. Your first hat-trick for United. How did it feel? I feel very good. It's my first hat-trick in my career, so I hope I will score more. But I'm happy because the team uh, played very good today, so everything is good. Some of the link-up play was fantastic from midfield with, with Bruno and with Paul, through to yourself. Yeah, we have a top player. Yeah. And in training, we, we have practiced a lot to link up. So if today was a very good very good game we, we create a lot of chances so I'm happy you've got 19 goals Marcus has got 19 goals is there a little competition to see who gets no above competition 20? you see give me one or two assists today <laughs> yeah. so the most important is to to win and you see I have a chances and I try to give yeah. to give him to, to score so no competition we just want to, to win and was your favourite goal the hat-trick goal great build up the last one, I think the last one was a, a very good goal, but the first two was uh, two good um, two goals like a real number nine, and I know yeah. the manager is happy for uh, the, these two goals. Yeah, Oli wants you to score goals in the yeah. six-yard box, so he'd be yeah. happy with that. Yeah? yeah, he was happy. And obviously you'd love to score a hat-trick in front of 75,000 people screaming your name. It was is very it, nice, it was very nice. <laughs> the fan was happy. <laughs> no, it was a little bit strange, but uh, I know they would be... They are happy for me, and it's good to to play like this. Have you got a target now? You've got 19 goals. The most you scored for United. Have you got a target for the rest of the season? I just want to score more goals. If I can score every game, it's uh, it's benefit for the for the team, and uh, I have to to continue like this and uh, to help the team to to win more games. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. He is a happy man indeed. Uh, the first Premier League hat-trick uh, for United since Robin Van Persie. 
incredible stop that is but incredible mm. for Anthony Martial uh, this evening he mentioned uh, competition for goals and that's a nice competition to have isn't it amongst the squad yeah he also talked about being unselfish when he set up Marcus mm -hmm. and the way they're working together you know is working for the team but I love to see that I love to see a striker scoring goals you know and having a smile on his face he's mm -hmm. clearly enjoying it and um, you know he's you can see it in his face he's really just delighted that he's got he's got his hat trick mm -hmm. for United and I think it will be a catalyst for him to kick on and get more now. Mm -hmm. It will give you confidence performances and when you're getting the scrappy goals in the way that he did there as well as the, the icing on the cake at the end. Yeah, thanks guys. Ben has made his way from the commentary box to the Warwick. Ben, you said post-match it was a brilliant performance. Um, Anthony Martial was brilliant. In fact, you said everything, yeah. everything was brilliant. <laughs> uh, but Martial's hat-trick was uh, exceptional. It was. Um, and I think it was a great way for it to be rounded off because uh, Danny has already said it, the, you don't want anybody else in that position that he finally found himself in. But the ball in from, from Paul Pogba flicked with the outside of his heel by Bruno Fernandes into Anthony Martial who then played the the ball uh, well a one two with, with Marcus Rashford who found him brilliantly and he just waited for Simon Moore to, to fall to his knees and then he just dinked it over him. It was a fitting way for anybody to to you know record a hat trick. Just such a shame as I as I said already that there wasn't that many well there wasn't anybody inside the stadium fans wise to see it happen. Yeah and then when he got brought off your as a hat-trick goal scorer, you normally get brought up to a rousing uh, round of applause from the crowd. He didn't get that either. Will, will he care, though, he's got a hat-trick for United? That's in the record books. Will he care that there was no fans here to see it? No, I'm sure he won't care. I'm, I'm sure he would have preferred to be uh, to be clapped off by 75,000 people and for, and for those people to have seen it. But on the grand scheme of things, no, he won't care. Um, I, I said at the end that... I didn't think that Anthony Martial might have started this game tonight because I thought he was one of the performances that, that maybe Oli might have looked at after Friday but boy did he answer him tonight and he, he played a, a, an absolute blinder and I, I you know I can see him being somebody who might not play on Saturday Yes, yeah, going to be a much change team we imagine you'll be going down to Norwich as well we will get some reaction uh, from this game from the players but just when you look ahead to the Norwich game Ollie has the luxury of being able to make yes. changes now, doesn't he? Yeah, I think I think that is a, a really good word to use, Sully, because we're not being disrespectful to Norwich whatsoever. You know, they knocked Spurs out in the last round to get this far. So we know it's going to be a tough game, but I feel as though he has got the squad to be able to rotate. Yeah, looking at the fixture list, it's only right to be looking ahead to the next game all the time because they come thick and fast. But let's get some reaction from pitch side, shall we? Because Nemanja Matic is waiting to speak to us. Mania, that felt like a pretty comprehensive victory. Is that how it was? I think that we had control during all 90 minutes. Uh, of course, we, we knew that they will have some dangerous counter-attack because they, they tactically they, are, they play well in every situation. They know what they have to do, but we, we analysed them very well. We knew at what we can expect. So I'm happy with the team performance. 3-0 against the team that creates a lot of problems uh, to a, every team in, in Premier League. So I'm happy, especially I'm happy for Anto that sco scored his first hat-trick. Yeah, he might be about to put you off as well, but is it? But what do you make uh, of... I know it's a bit yeah. awkward, this, but what did you make of his performance overall? I think that uh, it's very important for him to score goals. For every striker, is important uh, for his confidence and... Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that uh, our strikers are in good, uh, good uh, condition. So uh, tonight, Anto was was uh, for me man of the match. He used uh, almost every chance that he had. So let's see in the future what he can do for us. But I'm happy for him and uh, congratulations to him. What about the midfield link-up play? Yourself, Paul, and Bruno. That seemed to work really well tonight. Did you enjoy playing in that little triangle? Uh, yeah, uh, I think that it's always good to, to play with top players and not only with them. We, in the team we have, uh, uh, we are lucky that we have all top top players in every position. So uh, tonight uh, I played with Bruno and Paul. Uh, I think that we, we, we did well. It was a good connection there. So I'm sure that in the future we can, we can improve. Uh, a lot together, also with Scott, with uh, with Fred, whoever play with, with with us. So 
I'm happy. I'm happy with the team performance. I'm happy that we controlled the game during all 90 minutes. So that's very important. There are 40,000 faces in here, but sadly, yeah. no fans. What was it like? Yeah, it was, it was strange, but uh, the situation is like that. We have to cope with this uh, on, the, on the stand, so makes a little bit difference. But obviously, it's not the same when they are on the, the stands. They push always for more, and we always give more for the fans. But uh, until the end of the season, it's going to be like this. So we have to adapt, and uh, hopefully next season we can see proper supporters on the stands. Seven games to go. Is it just a case of keep winning see what happens yeah of course of course we will give our best uh, uh, to reach top four and to play Champions League next next season so I in front of our team I can uh, promise that we will give our best in every single game for us every game is a final now so that's it well played tonight thank you thank you thank you yeah, well played indeed. You predicted Nemanja would start. How impressed were you with his performance? Very, both on Friday and tonight. Um, and it, it, it's obvious and fitting, really, that, um, that Anthony Martial gets his man of the match for, for the hat-trick that he scored. But for me, Nemanja Matic wasn't too far behind. He controlled everything. Um, not only that, uh, he made some fantastic passes that I didn't think that you know, people would be able to see, but he, he was um, he was bang on it tonight, and uh, and he allowed yes, as Danny said, he allowed players to, to play in front of him. But some of the passes that he made to set things going, and he was always available, always wanted the ball, which is what I said was one of his strengths were before before the game, and why I thought he should have played, and he was fully justified. I thought he was excellent tonight, and and he, he looked all round like a like a newborn footballer. So he does. Well said, Ben. Now, uh, we're going to let you go now. You worked hard for your money tonight, Thanks very Ben. Much. <laughs> uh, so you're going to go off and see your parents, which is nice. Yeah, Enjoy lovely, some time yeah. in the garden.